On Wednesday afternoon, Governor Scott Walker presented his proposal for the next state budget. The state of our state is strong, and the state of our budget, well, it's outstanding. We are working and winning for Wisconsin. Walker's plan continues the property tax freeze, lowers income taxes, and able-bodied adults would no longer qualify for the homestead credit unless they're working. Here in Wisconsin, we are good and decent people. We will help our fellow citizen when they are down and out. But public assistance should be a trampoline, not a hammer. For transportation, there would be no gas tax or fee increase. Instead, $30 million would be transferred from the Petroleum Inspection Fund, and there would be a half billion dollars in new bonding. Walker said this will mean no delays in active major projects. Our budget includes more funding for local governments to fix roads and bridges and potholes than they've seen in more than a decade and a half. It also includes the largest amount ever, ever, for the rehabilitation of state highways. For the UW system, Walker wants to cut tuition and provide $42.5 million in performance-based aid. He also wants to freeze tuition at the tech colleges and provide them with an additional $10 million to pay for it. K-12 will get a $648.9 million boost, but part of that additional aid would be dependent on whether districts have implemented Act 10 savings for employee health plans and retirement. To help improve student success, we're investing more money into education than ever before in the history of Wisconsin. Altogether, Walker's budget spends just over $76 billion. $34.5 billion comes from GPR. For the McIver Institute, I'm Bill Osmolsky.